Welcome to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel has a lot of information on signal mirrors and on the uh, Boy Scout peak-to-peak -peak mirror signaling activity called Operation on Target. In this segment I'll show you how to turn a regular mirror into a signal mirror uh, that you can aim the reflected beam precisely. Uh, signal mirrors are typically used for either ground to air uh, signaling or as distress signals. Uh, and this is what the final product is going to look like. Uh, this is a 3 by 5 inch glass uh, signal mirror. You can see in the center a uh, quarter size worth of the silvering has been removed and uh, behind it some red retroflective tape has been placed with a quarter inch sighting hole in the center. And the way this works is when you look through the hole in the direction of the reflected beam of light, you'll see a bright red round fuzzy dot. That's the virtual image of the sun uh, created by the red retroflective tape. And to use the mirror, you tilt the mirror so that the very center of that bright red round dot uh, crosses over your target. Now to make this mirror, you'll need some materials and some tools. The materials you'll need are uh, a glass uh, mirror blank. You'll need some uh, red retroflective tape. You'll want uh, some adhesive tape to attach the red tape uh, to the mirror. And that's it for materials. Uh, in terms of tools, uh, it's uh, very handy to have a Dremel type tool with a, a disc brush to remove the soldering. Uh, you'll want uh, scissors to cut the tape uh, and a ruler to measure the tape. Uh, you'll want, uh, you'll want uh, safety goggles because uh, that spinning disc when it's uh, grinding material a little bits of steel wire fly off at high speed and you don't want that in your eye. Uh, you'll also want a, a hole punch to punch the hole, aiming hole in the center. And I uh, haven't tried this before but I'm going to use a water soluble uh, marker to just make a little dot in the center of the hole so I can line up the aimer better. So, so that's uh, that. Let me uh, say a little bit more about some of the materials. Uh, the uh, glass, the edges of the glass as it comes are, can be razor sharp. Uh, so you want to smooth those down. Uh, emery cloth was used on this on all uh, eight of the edges and all uh, eight of the corners to round that down. Um, Let's see, uh, we've tried various types of red retroflective tape, uh, but the type that uh, has worked best for us is this uh, red and white uh, tape you can get at Harbor Freight. Uh, we use a one inch square from the red to make the aimer. The white is really too bright to use for an aimer. What we use it for is we make targets. Uh, you can if you take a couple strips of this and put it a uh, hundred yards away and hit it with a signal mirror, you can see it flash back at you. So it's good for uh, practicing uh, with your signal mirror uh, to make sure you know how to use it. So uh, the first step, I'm going to uh, remove the rest of that silvering. Uh, it's going to get a little noisy. And uh, one thing is you don't want uh, this to get too hot or it will uh, scorch uh, the glass. I have a prior example here, I uh, don't know if you can see it, but that uh, brown spot there, I uh, spent too much time there and, uh, and that just will not uh, come off. Once you've done that, uh, you pretty much ruined that mirror blank. Uh, so I'm going to do it a little bit at a time. I'm going to work from the outside in uh, so that I keep a nice neat uh, circle. Do a few seconds at a time and then I'm going to take the disc away and let 
the mirror and the disc cooled off. All right, so we'll proceed to remove the Oh, and I hold it nice and tight here so I can control it. It doesn't uh, get away from me. scorched it slightly. One thing I failed to mention is it's nice to have a, a cloth to clean off the dust. And now to help me place the aimer, I'm going to use this water soluble marker to put a, a dot at the very center. So I'll know where to put the aiming. So, take a piece of tape, uh, the scissors, since it uh, comes two inches wide, you just cut straight down the center, and then uh, measure off the uh, inch worth, and uh, cut that off. The other thing is the this is two inch clear uh, packaging tape. A nice two inch by two inch square of that. And uh, I want the red out. Bullets in there. Yep. And there you go. If you want to learn more about uh, signal mirrors, you can look at the other videos on my site. And uh, there's also material on making signal mirrors at the Boy Scouts of America Operation on Target site. Uh, that's the mirrors page at www dot b s a on target dot o r g www dot b s a on target dot o r g thanks for listening <laughs>